Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Praveen here, your host, your mentor, your guide and your teacher guys. With that said, we have crossed 6k subscribers in just 2 months guys and I am very much grateful to each of my subscribers and I am very much happy to meet you all as my subscribers guys. Definitely, I hope I am giving the best content to you all in my channel. The bootcamp is running successfully guys. If you are new to the channel, subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends. We have entered into the fourth week of this bootcamp and uh, we have completed one month of the bootcamp and already we are seeing the success results. So on the screen, you will find two testimonials from one from Instagram, one for YouTube, where people are telling about the bootcamp. And uh, I'm very, very much wholeheartedly thankful to you all. And uh, with that said, let's get started into the video. And uh, in today's video, we'll be talking about Google. Yes, smile is com coming. Uh, I know that. And uh, many of you who are watching this video, Google is your dream company. I know that personally because it was one of my dream company when I was doing the job search. But unfortunately, I didn't got selected. And whatever the mistakes I have made, I will definitely tell in this video. Along with that, I'll be sharing the document of the questions with you all so that you can get benefited. So with that said, I will tell also one thing. These questions have been shared from one of my friend member who has recently attended Google. My questions were a little bit similar to this. So I'll be just focusing on the document which my friend Sanket has shared with me. So with that said, I'll be telling each point in detail, each thing in detail and how you can apply to Google. Starting from that point, we will take the thread to each round of interview then we will assess the Google gockliness, right? And then we will end this particular show. So I hope you guys are with me. Watch till the end if you don't want to miss the opportunity with Google. So with that said, let's get started. So point number one, how to apply to Google, guys. Uh, the Google link will be flashing on to the screen as well as I have shared in the document. You just click on the link. It will take you to the website where the Google will give different types of job opportunities. And one more thing, mainly apply through the reference because reference plays an important role in getting selected for your dream organization. So I have applied almost for every position like Google Cloud Engineer, Google Support Cloud Engineer and I think I have applied for uh, architect position because at that time my experience was matching with that position so I have applied but luckily after I think I have uh, applied through five six referrals and I have applied uh, three on myself on my behalf but I think I've got an opportunity through referral. So what I say is LinkedIn is the best platform for you all to check your uh, criteria of eligibility. Also, you will get to know like how people are actually enthusiastic in taking your candidature to the referral. If they find you are the suitable person, they will definitely give you referral. So make sure your resume is very, very proper. And if you have not seen the resume video, the I button will be flashing on the screen. You can go and check out the resume video also. So without further delay, let's get started in each of the rounds of the Google. So guys, this position which I have applied and even my friend has applied is for Google Cloud Engineer. Right. And basically it starts with first round as Google HR screening where HR itself screen you because, you know, Google is our top product based organizations where the cream candidates are getting selected. Right. And I want every one of you to get selected into the dream organization and just give me a high five. Right. And we will achieve this maybe by the end of bootcamp or later after a few months. Definitely we will achieve. Don't worry about that. Right. So Google HR screening first round Google RRK one where we call RRK as role related knowledge interview. Right. RRK is nothing but role related knowledge interview. Right. Where Google RRK one round is there. Then we have Google RRK round two and uh, we have Google GCA plus system design. And this system design is very, very much important because in the system design, the questions are very, very much tough guys. So you need to know like how the system designs of the other actually running applications are there like Netflix, Flipkart, Amazon, right? So those applications runtime criteria as well as the system design architecture, you all should know. And we have Google Googliness 
plus leadership skills where they will test you how you are actually acting how you are behaving in the interview whether you are the correct fit in the google or not so they will be checking all the things so make sure you are with me till the end of the video so after going through this document i found majority of the questions are from the linux as well as from the real time scenarios guys so we'll be going through the google screening hr process for the round one where i'll be telling you like some of the questions but yeah document is already shared in the description just check out that also each slide will be focusing or flashing on to the screen so just make sure you are following the notes you are with me uh, you are liking the channel subscribing to my channel so uh, let's talk about some of the little bit of questions so if we see here uh, what are the http method right we have four types put post delete get uh, put is for changing the data which is already present post is for posting something new to the database let's consider that delete to delete the data from the database and uh, finally we have get to get the data from the other endpoint to our system so that's how these things work what is time comp complexity of merge so basically merge you all know like when uh, uh, two branches are merged or uh, when two data points are merged together what are the complex things it actually makes in the project so you need to explain them okay this is the this thing and get if the merge conflict occur, how you are going to resolve those things you have to tell. And uh, uh, let's take like what is the difference between put and post, which I have already told you. How to capture and analyze the network traffic. Very, very much important. And you have to tell TCP dump, you will use it in Linux. And uh, this is going to be very much helpful because the entire traffic skeleton, you will get it. Okay. How to check boot locks in Linux. Very much important and very, very much asterisk point question. So you need to use general CTL hyphen B, which is very much important command in Linux. What is the significance of S-I-G-K-I-L-L -L and S-I-G-T-E-R-M? So sick kill and sick term, both are different terms and terminologies which are used in the Linux and both are related to killing of the process. One is doing different behavior, sick, uh, sorry, sick kill is doing one of the behavior sick term is doing one of the behavior so what i would tell is sick kill will actually kill the process sick term will stop the process ab abruptly and it will generate some error codes okay so make sure you are knowing these two and it's not about google interview guys it's for every organization you need to know this question. So what is uh, kill hyphen nine PID? PID is the process for the application. Let's take you are running Flipkart application and Flipkart application in Linux is having a process ID. So this process ID is something like one, two, three, four, five. And if you want to kill the Flipkart application, then you need to use kill hyphen nine right and the process id 12345 with that your application will get stopped in the linux so you are with me now we will see how the tcp handshake work behind the scene guys these questions are almost similar to my amazon interview experience i have shared a detailed amazon interview experience with the document of the questions so check on the i link which will be flashing onto the screen and uh, how you deploy when you deploy the web server what are the security measures you take yes in the bootcamp i have given talked and share the data points on the security. You use the tools like Black Duck, Checkmarks, Sonar Cube 45, and you do the security scanning for your application. Your application is coming from here. Your security scans are done on this application. If your application is good, then it is allowing your application to get deployed into the production dev test QA. If it is not allowing your application to deploy in any of the environment, it means this scanner has actually found some bugs, vulnerabilities, which are actually impacting your application going forward in the future so those things you need to definitely check out guys because uh handshakes and uh, the tcp mechanisms and the security mechanisms are very very much important for an application to get into production so make sure you are knowing all these things every question is a star mark caching mechanism yes caching is something which i'll be telling in short but make sure you are understanding suppose this is our application guys okay this this is our application now what happens, uh, this application is talking with database and imaginary plot here, which is a database. And I am the person who is actually requesting www.helloworld.com. That www.helloworld.com is coming from here and it is just hitting this uh, application. Now what happens? And it is that this application processes the request and goes to the database and fetches the data and gives me the beautiful UI screen with the values what I have requested. Now what happens? Because we have placed the cache here, the cache is an imaginary imaginary layer on the application so if the cache is present first time it will hit the db but if the cache is present that data which is retrieved from the db is stored in the cache now next time when i uh, ask for the same data it will not go to the database guys it is trying to 
give it from the caching cache mechanism it will retrieve from the cache and it will put me the data the same data which i actually it was coming from the caching uh, database so i hope you are understanding caching is nothing but an imaginary layer on the application which actually stores the data which is coming from the database for a particular period of time and gives the data to me uh, with this what we are trying to achieve the hits to the database are reduced the pressure on the database is reduced uh, the hit points in the database is reduced so i hope you are able to understand so data structure yes uh, so many of you have asked me like pravin tell me what is uh, data structures do we need a data structure or not if you need a good pay if you need a better work life balance if you need better facilities from the organization definitely i always used to tell a little bit of data structure should be coming in because you have to do devops is not just like configuration files changes and something else but you need to know some data points where this data structures are helping you to come out from the actual scenarios so see here uh, tree question left order traversal uh, string palindrome and this we are studying from our btech or be so make sure you know this bubble sort guys this bubble sort is very much important and uh, i think in amazon most of the interviews for software development engineers are based on this bubble sort so a little bit of dss when you are searching for a job search are must and should so make sure you are going through that now hr screening itself is this much difficult so just imagine like how we will go actually into the round so definitely guys with this said you can definitely check out the google standards for one position of google cloud engineer this many questions are asked by the hr to screen you for the next round right and the next round is rrk1 role related knowledge round 1 so in this if you see most of the things are very much similar but see i will be repeating those things how would you check whether the user has execute permission or not in linux so guys linux is very important i would recommend you all to at least do a certification red hat certified system administration is the best certification for you all which will help in various organization to get clear so with that said uh, you have to definitely know like what is the you execute permission read write uh, execute rwx in linux and uh, you have something called the numbering system also so make sure you are knowing that and the uh, second thing is uh, what are the parameters available in curl command we all use curl in our next session session 5 i'll be showing you what is curl command we'll be doing some hands on with the curl command but yeah some of the curl commands parameters are hyphen u hyphen x right hyphen x put get delete post hyphen u username and password and hyphen t for sending the target file from the local to the uh, other repository or somewhere else okay so make sure you are knowing some of the commands of this so it is mandatory to use port 22 for ssh if any other port is possible or not this is the question in round 1 they have asked so even i am not sure of this question but yeah there are there is some url i think uh, interviewer has shared to my friend which he has placed in the document so definitely i will check out this document later and the url practical coding round java code snippet was given yes uh, these are the similar scenarios which was given to me also they have given a java code and they they asked me to analyze there was a array with the numbers they asked me what is the output and if i tell the output they have asked me like how you have validated the logic behind that so make sure little bit of java code is also you are knowing if you are not knowing that is okay but at least on the data structures like you will be anyways learning that data structures so make sure like what is the uh, arrays things and all those things you are knowing okay so round 1 is completed now we are at uh, role based knowledge round 2 so basic web technology type of request see everyone is focusing here put get delete post so in round 2 also the interviewer has asked the same question so make sure you are knowing that basics of networking yes amazon round 2 was completely on to the networking so i would request you all to know the networking because in this also i see more of networking and for me in google round also there was networking guys okay so networking concepts from starting to the end how you debug a network uh, Uh, transmissions how you actually uh, debug whether some traffic packets are getting lost or not how your wifi is getting connected to your phone all those things you need to know because at the end you have to get google guys and uh, please ek subscriber to yaar google mein jao aur comment karo ki yaar tumne google mein apna position hasil kiya hai right so yes i want you all to get selected in your dream organization again i am telling uh, so yes uh, in round 2 it was a little bit of mix and match of all the things 
and uh, it's somewhat good with networking and Linux. Both the concepts have been covered in round two. Round one, DSA was there, networking was there, and uh, shell shell concepts were also there. So yes, definitely everything is a mix and match. And uh, when I asked my HR, right, why in Google the coding round or code is given, and uh, they asked me to reply back on that code. This is because in Google Cloud platform GCP you are going as a Google Cloud engineer for them and in that many customers will come to you for the uh, data points like hey my code is rot not running my code has some issues okay so you need to have the knowledge like on how to tell the customer that okay because of this issue your application is down so in order to make sure you know that so they are giving the coding rounds because they want their candidates to at least know some part of basic coding language so now we are at uh, Google system design guys very very much important topic and see uh, each step is really difficult but yeah with your support and with my help and i will also get some other people on my channel who will help us to grow together so definitely i would request you all to be with me so in the system design round see designing cache server i told right caching this is a server caching is there we are hitting sometime cache hit is happening because caching doesn't have that data catch hit if it is having data catch miss if it is not having data so these two terms are very much important you need to explain when someone asks you what is caching guys okay uh, design netflix streaming engine okay this is a raw question and i think we will be doing one session on this uh, sometime later uh, even i am not sure but yeah just check on the streaming design in linkedin just make sure you are following some good people who are sharing this kind of content. I have seen a LinkedIn document where people have shared the Netflix end-to-end -end design document. So that will help you definitely. What is a load balancer? I have already told in the Amazon interview experience. So go ahead and check out that. So now we are at final round. This is leadership round. So most of the things, most of the patterns are same in Amazon and Google because both are top product-based organizations where they are referring the candidates that they need the candidates similar to these people who know all the knowledge rrk1 hr round rrk2 and then you have uh, system design round and you have google leadership round so what they have checked in the google leadership rounds i would like to tell you uh, so coming on to my interview experience i was uh, removed uh, after the round two so i'm not that much knowledgeable person uh, to crack the design rounds so i was not going through that design rounds and all but definitely you have to reach and clear the Google interview guys, please, please, please. Okay, so Google leadership skills, they check whether you are fit for the company or not. Don't worry about the document. Document will be shared in the description as well as the slides will be flashing onto the screen, right? Some general questions, how you are behaving, uh, whether you have helped your teammate in some critical situation or not, whether your manager has given a task and that too on a critical deadline, whether you are able to compete or not. And uh, some other questions like, uh, they will give you some technical solutions also, and you have to give the, better points in order to make that technical solution in a better one so i hope i have made much much sense with this document uh, this entire process i have already explained you all and uh, hr round rrk1 rrk2 system design and finally your leadership round and finally if you are getting the offer letter then there will be before that there will be a hr round so guys this was from my end I hope I have made very, very much clear end-to-end -end journey. The documents will be in the description below. If you are liking my content, like the video. If you are very much supporting me, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification and share the link with your friends, guys. Okay. See you in another video. Trust me and believe me, we will grow together. And with that said, Saat padenge, saat aage padenge aur saat mehnat karenge, guys. Take care, bye, until next video.